How's it going, people? Well, let's get some ether out of the way. Oh, but first, before I lose all the frost off my mug, a little visit from an old friend. I hope I have enough. Section 10. Excuse me. Chapter 10. Sections in this book. Chapters in this. It's so confusing. Otherwise, it all sounds the same. Uh, Rip Lankish. The wrongdoer. Well, he was named wrong. It's had to get better. You know, could only get better after that. Yeah, he was named uh, badly. <laughs> Maury Anton, the reformer. So we got the good guy and the bad guy right next to each other there. Other monarchs and their wars. The land southward, a wilderness. The land northward, inhabited. One, and it came to pass. Mm. That Shez, who was a descendant of Heth, for Heth had perished by the famine, and all his household, save it were Shez. Wherefore Shez began to build up again a broken people. Two. Got an itch. And it came to pass. This will help. <sighs> that Shez did remember the destruction of his father's. And he did build up a righteous kingdom. For he remembered what the Lord had done in bringing Jared and his brother across the deep. And he did walk in the ways of the Lord. And he begat sons and daughters. Three. And his eldest son, whose name was Shez, so we got another junior here. Uh, did rebel against him. It's a bad Shez. Nevertheless, Shez was smitten by the hand of a robber because of his exceeding riches, which brought peace again unto his father. For and it came to pass... That his father did build up many cities upon the face of the land. And the people began again to spread all over the face of the land. I mean, they lost like, what, two million people in one battle, I think. That was pretty rough. And the people... Um, and Shez did live... To an exceeding old age. And he begat uh, Riplakish. Yes. And he died in Riplakish. Reigned in his stead. Five. And it came to pass. Blackish 
did not do that which was right in the sight of the Lord. Or he did have many wives. See, it's still a bad thing in this book. And concubines. And did lay that upon men's shoulders, which was grievous to be born, yea. And with the taxes he did build many spacious buildings. Six. And he did erect himself an exceeding beautiful throne. And he did build up many prisons. And whoso would not be subject unto taxes he did cast into prison. And whoso was not able to be packed uh, able to pay taxes, he did cast into prison. Uh, those who can't and those who won't. Or the other way around. And he did cause that they be that they that they should labor continually for their support. And whoso refused to labor, he did cause to be put to death. Seven. Wherefore, he did obtain all his fine work, yea, even his fine gold he did cause to be refined in prison. And all manner of fine workmanship he did cause to be wrought in prison, and it came to pass in the middle of seven. That he did afflict the people with his whoredoms and abominations. I think I'm going to leave that one out. Eight. And when he had reigned for a space of forty and two years, the people did rise up in rebellion against him. And there began to be war again in the land insomuch that Replakish was killed, and his descendants were driven out of the land. <clears throat> Nine. And it came to pass. <sighs> After the space of many years, Morianton he being a descendant of Riblackish, gathered together an army of outcasts and went forth and gave battle unto the people, and he gained power over many cities. And the war became exceeding sore, and he did last for the space of many years, and he did gain power over all the land. And did establish himself king over all the land. Ten. And after that, he had established himself king. He did ease the burden of the people, by which he did gain favor in the eyes of the people, and they did anoint him to be their king. official now. Eleven. And he did do justice unto the people, but not unto himself because of his many whoredoms. Wherefore, he was cut off from the presence of the Lord. Twelve. Then it came to pass... Morianton built up many cities, and the people became exceeding rich under his reign, both in buildings and in gold and silver and in 
raising grain and in flocks and herds and such things which had been restored unto them. 13. And Morianton did live to an exceeding great age. And then he begat Kim, and Kim did reign in his stead, in the stead of his father. And he did reign eight years, and his father died. And it came to pass in the latter half of 13. That Kim did not reign in righteousness. Wherefore, he was not favored of the Lord. Look out. 14. And his brother did rise up in rebellion against him, by which he did bring him into captivity, and he did remain in captivity all his days, and he begat sons and daughters in captivity. And in his old age he begat Levi, and he died. Not Levi. <laughs> you get it. Fifteen, and it came to pass. <sighs> that Levi did serve in captivity after the death of his father for the space of forty and two years. Ain't that a bitch? And he did make war against the king of the land, by which he did obtain unto himself the kingdom. Sixteen, and after he had obtained unto himself the kingdom, he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. And the people did prosper in the land, <coughs> and he did live to a good old age, unnamed them, unnumbered, and begat sons and daughters, and he was really old, and he also begat Koram, whom he anointed king in his stead. Seventeen, and it came to pass. That Koran did that which was good in the sight of the Lord all his days. And he begat many sons and daughters, and after he had seen many days, he did pass away. Wow, their records are getting really sketchy, aren't they? Even like unto the rest of the earth, and Kish reigned in his stead. You know what I mean? We know how old Hezekiah was. We know how long he reigned. All those... Oh, well. Eighteen. And... It came to pass... That Kish passed away also, and Lib reigned in his stead. Nineteen. And it came to pass
egg candy pass that Lib also did that which was good in the sight of the Lord. And in the days of Lib, the poisonous serpents were destroyed. Oh yeah, I forgot about them. Wherefore, they did go into the land southward to hunt food for the people of the land. <clears throat> for the land was covered with animals of the forest, like elephants and oxen and shit. <laughs> yeah, that was the last chapter with the elephants. And it was thirsty as shit, too. <sighs> Wherefore, they did go into the land southward to hunt for food for the people of the land, and the land was covered with animals of the forest, and Lib also himself became a great hunter. I got Nimrod on the brain. Because they just had a name similar to him a few chapters back, if I remember right. Twenty, and they built a great city by the narrow neck of land, by the place where the sea divides the land. Twenty-one, and they did preserve the land southward for a wilderness to get game. And the whole face of the land northward was covered with inhabitants. 22. And they were exceedingly industrious, and they did buy and uh, sell and traffic one with another that they might get gain. Sounds like capitalism. 23. And they did work in all manner of ore, and they did make gold and silver and iron and brass and all manner of metals that were never smelted here until European people came here and brought their blacksmiths. And they did dig it out of the earth Wherefore they did cast up mighty heaps of earth to get ore of gold and of silver and of iron and of copper. And they did work all manner of fine work. 24. And they did have silks, because they had silkworms here, <laughs> just like in the Orient, and fine twined linen. They had that here. And they did all manner of cloth that they might clothe themselves from their nakedness. Yeah, you gotta put something on, you know, especially if it's cold. 25. And they did make all manner of tools to till the earth, both to plow and to sow, to reap and to hoe, and also to thrash. <sighs> 27. And they did make all manner of tools, which they did, which they did work their beasts. 27. And they did make all manner of weapons of war, and they did work all manner of work of industrial, of, of exceedingly curious works, workmanship. So they did work, all manner of work of exceeding curious workmanship. It's fucking brilliant. Hemingway wish, wished he could write like that. <sighs> 28. And never could be a people more blessed than they, and more prospered by the hand of the Lord. 
and they were in a land that was choice above all lands, for the Lord had spoken it. 29. And it came to pass. That Lib did live many years, and begat sons and daughters, and he begat Hart, Hartham, Hartham, thirty. And it came to pass. Yeah. That's it. Nope. God damn. Wow. That Hartham reigned in the stead of his father. And when Hartham had reigned twenty and four years, behold, the kingdom was taken away from him. And he served many years in captivity. Yea, even all the remainder of his days. Thirty-one. And he begat Heath, another Heath, not the other Heath. And Heath lived in captivity all his days. And Heath begat Aaron, and Aaron dwelt in captivity all his days. <clears throat> and he begat M. Nagada. M. Nagada. And Amnagata also dwelt in captivity all his days. <sighs> and he begat Coriantum, and Coriantum dwelt in captivity all of his days. And he begat Com, as in dot com. Thirty two. came to pass that Com drew away the half of the kingdom, and he reigned over the half of the kingdom forty and two years, and he went to battle against King Amgid, and they fought for the space of many years, that many during which time Com gained power over Amgid and obtained power over the remainder of the kingdom. 33. And in the days of Com there began to be robbers in the land. Oh no. And they adopted the old plans and administered oaths after the manner of the ancients, and sought again to destroy the kingdom. 34. Now Calm did fight against them much, that much. Huh? Nevertheless, he did not prevail against them. Ah, oh, damn. Something tells me the next chapter is going to be a downer. Uh, oh, shit. I highlighted all the phrases. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh boy. Yeah. 14, 15, 16 drinks in uh, the next thrilling chapter. And the well, last one was thrilling, wasn't it? Yeah, chapter 11. And that's it for 10. It was interesting. A little repetitive. Uh, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Chime in. Um, I think it's getting better, actually, now that it's almost over. So, let me know if you learned something. Peace.
the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. I know I am.